Are you ready to make a move on Fisker stock? Welcome back. Today, we're diving deep into Fisker, bringing you an even more detailed analysis than before. Get ready to uncover some valuable insights. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the notification bell to stay ahead of the game with our latest analysis. Missing out on crucial updates could cost you big time. Supercharge your trading decisions with our cutting-edge AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the extraordinary power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for over 25,000 companies worldwide today. Keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Welcome back. Today, we have some exciting news about Fisker, a company that our system has ranked as a hold slash accumulate since September 26, 2023. It has received an impressive score of 0.18. But what about the stock's performance during this period? Let's find out. Despite some natural fluctuations, the stock has managed to hold its ground with a minimal loss of just 0% since our initial hold slash accumulate recommendation. Brace yourself for an exciting analysis of the stock market. We're diving into the intriguing movement of this stock, which is currently traversing a wide and horizontal trend. Get ready for some potential game-changing shifts within this trend. Hold on to your seats as we examine the three-month trend. It hints at a potential 0.791% change in the upcoming three months. But wait, there's more. We're looking at a possible return between a staggering minus 8.03% and an impressive 22.59%. Prepare yourself for the unexpected. Now, let's zoom out and focus on the 12-month trend. Hold your breath as it suggests a minus 24.57% change over the next year. That's right, we're talking about a potential return between a jaw-dropping minus 54.29% and a not-so-shabby minus 14.99%. Picture a price range of $2.66 to $4.95 after a year. Can you handle the suspense? Welcome back to our Fisker Daily Update. Today's headline reads, Fisker stock price experiences high volatility, closing at $5.82 on Tuesday. Let's dive into the details. On the last trading day, Fisker stock price saw a significant gain of 9.6%, starting at $5.31 and reaching $5.82. Throughout the day, the stock experienced a fluctuation of 19.59%, hitting a low of $5.41 and a high of $6.47. It's worth noting that the stock has fallen in 6 out of the last 10 days, resulting in a decline of minus 9.49% during this period. However, there's positive news as well. The trading volume has increased alongside the price, indicating a favorable technical trend. In fact, a total of 16 million more shares were traded compared to the previous day, with a total trading value of approximately $140.94 million. Now, let's take a look at the bigger picture. Over the past 52 weeks, Fisker stock reached a high of $8.85 and a low of $4.27. Currently, the stock is trading at a price 34.24%, or $3.03, below its 52-week high. If we consider the all-time high on March 2, 2021, when the stock price reached $31.96, it's currently trading at a significant discount of 81.79%, or $26.14. Get ready for some exciting news about analyst ratings. Let's dive right in. On Monday, February 27, 2023, CFRA gave FSR a sell grade with an upgrade action. But wait, there's more. On Wednesday, November 30, 2022, Evercore ISI gave FSR an impressive outperform grade with an initialize action. That's not all. On Tuesday, November 15, 2022, Morgan Stanley weighed in with a equal weight grade and a hold action for FSR. Brace yourself for good news. On Thursday, September 15, 2022, Needham gave FSR a confident buy grade with an initialize action. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, on Sunday, August 14, 2022, RF Lafferty also rated FSR as a buy with a hold action. 
Are you curious about the current state of Fisker stock? Well, let's dive into what analysts have to say. When it comes to ratings, analysts have given Fisker stock a general neutral rating. But here's where it gets interesting, they rate the P-E ratio as a strong buy and the price to book as a strong buy. However, hold on to your seats because for return on investment, the analysts give the stock a sell rating. Are you ready for some exciting news about Fisker? Let me tell you what's been happening. Get this, a buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on an eventful Monday, September 25, 2023. And guess what? It has already risen by a whopping 9.6%. But hold on, there's more. The indicators suggest that there could be even more growth until a new top pivot is found. With the volume rising alongside the price, this technical signal is considered to be a promising sign. But wait, there's a twist. Some negative signals have also emerged, which might affect the short-term development. The Fisker stock is currently facing sell signals from both short- and long-term moving averages, leading to a slightly negative forecast. However, here's the interesting part, on corrections up, there will be resistance at $5.96 and $5.96. If the stock breaks these levels, guess what happens? It will issue by signals. And as if that's not enough, there's a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Hey there. Let's dive into some fascinating signals that you won't want to miss. First up, we have the moving average convergence divergence. It's showing a sell signal. Next, we have the pivots. They gave a buy signal two days ago. Now, let's talk about the Bollinger signal. It gave a buy signal 11 days ago. Moving on to the short-term moving average, it's indicating a sell signal 7 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average is also showing a sell signal 5 days ago. And finally, the relation between the short and long moving averages is suggesting a buy signal 16 days ago. Now, let's take a zoomed out look at the bigger picture. On the 12-month chart, we observe the following. The short moving average is indicating a sell signal 6 days ago. Likewise, the long-term moving average is also showing a sell signal 5 days ago. And interestingly, the relation between the short and long moving averages is suggesting a buy signal 9 days ago. Don't forget to check out our page at stockinvest.us for even more exciting signals. Ready to dive into the world of Fisker? Let's talk about support, risk, and stop-loss strategies. Fisker, a promising investment, has found strong support from accumulated volume at $5.74. This presents a potential buying opportunity as we can expect an upward reaction when this support level is tested. With its average daily movements and significant trading volume, the risk associated with Fisker is considered to be medium. In the previous day, the stock experienced a price range of $1.06, representing a substantial 19.59% fluctuation. Over the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 9.7%. Welcome, fellow traders. Today, we're going to explore the exciting world of Fisker and uncover some potentially lucrative trading levels. But before we dive in, let's make sure we're equipped with the essential fundamental data that every smart trader should know. First up, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This powerful metric measures a company's current share price in relation to its per-share earnings. It's like a window into the company's financial health. Now, here's where things get interesting. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company is either losing money or has negative earnings. Even established companies can face downturns, usually due to external factors beyond their control. However, if a company consistently shows negative P-E ratios, it could be a red flag for insufficient profit and potential bankruptcy risks. So, it's crucial to keep an eye on this indicator. And now, let's move on to some exciting news. The next earnings report for Fisker is expected on October 31, 2023. Mark it on your calendar. Analysts' consensus estimates for this report are at dash $0.160. Trust me when I say that these numbers can have a significant impact on stock prices. So, be prepared and stay updated. Welcome, traders.
Today, we're diving into the exciting world of day trading and exploring potential levels for Fisker. Buckle up as we uncover the first resistance level for Fisker, sitting comfortably at $6.17. If you're not in the game yet, keep an eye on this level. Once breached, it might just be your golden opportunity to jump in. And if you're already riding the Fisker wave, this could be a level worth considering for some swing trading action. But wait, there's more. On the flip side, Fisker encounters its first support level at $5.74. Picture this as your chance to enter the game, anticipating a potential rebound. If this support level holds strong, it might just be a sweet spot to make your move. Hey there! Are you curious about Fisker's ratings from different analysts? Well, the combined average rating is neutral. But wait, there's more. Let's dive into some recent insider trades. Guess what happened on July 7, 2023? Zuckley Mitchell made an insider buy of a whopping 2,127 shares of class a common stock. And that's not all. On the same day, Gruel Wendy J also conducted an insider buy of 2,127 shares of class a common stock. Hold on tight. On July 7, 2023, Hicks and Mark E made an insider buy of 2,127 shares of class a common stock. Brace yourself. On July 7, 2023, McDermott William R took part in an insider buy of 2,127 shares of class a common stock. And here's the cherry on top. On June 6, 2023, Zuckley Mitchell went all in with an insider buy of 34,246 shares of class A common stock. Hold your breath. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power has been calculated to be negative, with a ratio of minus 15.090. Now, let's talk numbers. Insiders have purchased a staggering 2,559,198 shares and sold 3,653,397 shares in the last 100 trades. Listen up. Our recommended stop loss is set at $5.58, which is a decrease of 4.1%. Get ready for some excitement. This stock has medium daily movements, adding a touch of thrill to your investment. Plus, we've got a buy signal from a pivot bottom found just one day ago. Are you considering investing in Fisker stock? While Fisker currently shows some negative signals that may make it a sell candidate, there is also a potential for a turnaround. Therefore, it could be worth holding on to or accumulating this stock as we await further developments. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion from a sell to a hold slash accumulate candidate since our last evaluation. Our systems have analyzed the volatility and movements of Fisker stock and have found that the current price is undervalued. When trading opens on Wednesday, September 27, we expect Fisker to start at $5.90, representing a $0.0800 increase from the previous day. Attention all traders. Get ready for an exciting journey into the world of trading. But before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with risks. We strongly advise you to consult a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Don't solely rely on stockinvest.us. Your investment choices are your responsibility, and you'll be held accountable for them. So, let's dive in and discover the thrilling world of trading. Hey there, fellow traders. Are you ready to dive into our current view of the stock? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so don't forget to comment below and share your insights. What's your target for this stock? We're eager to know. And hey, if you enjoy our content, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates. Wishing you all successful trading days ahead and hoping you have a truly beautiful day. Warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.